Frenzies and welcome back to day 23 of my 30 day vlogging challenge that I challenged myself to. Whew, I don't know if that was a good idea. It's day 23, I'm exhausted. Anyways, I've been getting to work when it's dark and I've been leaving so when it's, it's dark. Kind of like, so oh, I, I'm like in the dark. I sort of am right now. Okay, today I want to talk about a transition that I made from teaching fifth grade, like my own class, to teaching middle school, multiple classes a day. I thought it might help you out if you're ever thinking about switching from elementary to middle school, so let's get on with the show. I think that was kind of a creepy smile that I ended with. Anywho, okay. Let's talk about the transition from elementary to middle school. I think a lot of elementary school teachers are like, oh my gosh, I would never go to middle school. I don't like teenagers, they're scary, they got bad attitudes. These are things I've heard from my friends um, and, and reasons why they don't wanna teach older kids. So I just thought I'd tell you a little bit about my transition. I'm not so anywho, I taught fifth grade for three years and then I was commuting to work about 50 miles a day. Uh, each way and it was just a long commute and I kind of wanted to change so I commute after a few years I wanted to see what life would be like with no commute so I applied for jobs in this um, small was, town that I, I was offered jobs at the two schools I applied at so I could have gone like kindergarten or second grade maybe fourth grade or I could have gone to middle school and I chose the middle school because they are doing a one-to-one -one program um, this is kind of kind of dirty right now, but um, th this is what our Chromebooks look like and every single kid has their own Chromebook. I thought what an incredible opportunity to learn how to do um, blended learning, one-on-one uh, -on -one instruction using technology. That always interests me. I had gotten a few grants while I was a fifth grade teacher to try to get iPads for my- Okay, all, oh boy. Okay. All of my friends that have switched to middle school, they absolutely Absolutely love the switch and here's why now I'm not really in a traditional I'm in a I'm in a public school but we're a four-day school which I did a video about when I first started this vlogging journey about how we basically go four days a week we get Fridays off but we have really long days so as a middle school teacher um, we teach eight classes, no preps. And a lot of that is because of Fridays being off. Now, most of my friends um, have six periods a day and they have one period of prep. So they're really only teaching five classes a day, five days a week. We're teaching eight classes a day, four days a week. So I don't know. I mean, to get Fridays off or you know, teach less classes, less hours. I mean, it's it's kind of a give and take, but that's why so many of my friends love teaching middle school over uh, elementary school is because they're getting that prep in the middle of the day to get a lot of work done. They get a prep every day. Now, when I taught elementary school, I only got a prep maybe two or three days out of a five day chunk. And so um, for middle school teachers, you usually get a prep in the middle of the day somewhere. Now at my school, our prep is before school starts and that's because we're in a unique situation having a four day week. Anywho, here were the differences. So I went from fifth grade to teaching sixth, seventh, and eighth. I really thought I was only gonna teach six, but when school started, I got a class of seventh graders and quite a few of eighth graders. <laughs> So it was a bit of a shock. They, they, were, they were much larger people than what I was used to, but the sixth graders were pretty much the same as fifth graders. There was really no difference in their personalities. Um, I didn't really notice a lot of, you know, teen angst. So I think going from fourth or fifth grade to sixth grade in a middle school is a really easy jump. So if you could do that, I would highly recommend it. Okay, so... Here, I'm gonna tell you three things I really like about the switch from middle school, um, uh, from elementary to middle school, and then I'm gonna tell you three things I don't. So three things I like right off the bat. Um, I like that the day goes by really fast because you have eight classes coming in and out. So if you're having a little bit of a rough time with someone, you know, you really only have to deal with that person for an hour. Block scheduling, maybe an hour and a half, but in elementary school, if you have a really challenging challenging kid you're 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 dealing with that person and their 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 problems all day 
<laughs> I'm trying to put it politely, but you are dealing with the same person all day. And sometimes you get a kid in elementary school who's like, I hate you. And they're just really trying to make your life miserable or that's the way it feels inside. You're like, why is this person doing this? Why am I being tortured? <laughs> I'm just being real with you that that's how it feels. Anywho, in middle school, you don't have that. Because you you see someone maybe, usually once, maybe twice a day. Uh, very rarely, like I had maybe three or four students that I had for three classes. And that's because you teach an advisory class usually, like a, a class where you're, you know, how, like a study hall, you're checking on grades and stuff like that. It's not traditional academic class. So anyway, sometimes I'd have kids three times a day, very rarely twice, and then for the most part, I just saw kids once a day um, as a middle school teacher, which is so different than being in elementary school. Like I said, you know, in elementary school, it's, it's like, it might be six hours worth of if someone's having a certain problem or um, having a certain behavior that maybe makes you upset. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying, I'm trying to say, I'm trying to be PC here, but if you have someone who really irritates you and you're not getting along with a student, obviously, you know, that's, that's work you need to work on. But in elementary school, it's a six hour chunk with that person. And in middle school, junior high, it's, you know, 45 minutes to an hour. It's a little easier to deal with. Okay, the second thing that I really like is I really like that you can kind of dork down on one subject. So my first year here, I just taught social studies and technology. That was it. I didn't have any other subjects to teach. In elementary school, you're teaching all the subjects. And I mean, it's hard to really be an expert in all of the subjects, especially in like when you get up to like fourth and fifth grade where you're dealing with more content. I mean, it's a lot of like reading the textbook and like reminding yourself what this is about, right? But in in you know junior high or middle school, you can really dork out on, on your subject area and get really, really good at it. Most of my friends, they just teach one subject in middle school and they might like I, I taught the same class three times a day and then I taught another class twice a day so that was kind of cool that I re was really only teaching two classes two content areas but I was teaching it um, to five different periods a day so that was kind of interesting I kind of like that part of it so again Okay, three things I don't really like from the transition. And you know, the thing that I like is also something I don't like. So the fact that I, you have a lot more students to keep up with, you don't really get to know them as well. And so I don't like that as much as that, you know, in your fifth, like in your fifth grade class, it's more family feeling. No, I don't call them my family. I've gotten called out on that before. It's not something I agree with, but it's, a, it's more of a close knit community, right? When you're an elementary school teacher. When you're a middle school teacher, you know, kids are coming out all day long. You made me have them for an hour. Yeah, you can build a relationship, but you're not going to reach every single kid with only an hour a day. Or like in my situation, only four days a week, an hour a day. You're just not going to reach as many kids. So, you know, I don't like that you don't really build that really strong community, you know, like, and, and there are kids that leave at the end of the year that you didn't really quite get to. Another know thing well. is, you know, when you're dealing with like, um, say parent teacher conferences you know again with the parents in elementary school you can really develop a close-knit relationship with the parents and you're gonna have some you get along with and some you don't you're gonna have some that are lifesavers some that aren't so much but in middle school again it's kind of hard I mean they're having to deal with eight different people eight different teachers and so yeah you're gonna and then the last challenging thing I mean, it is the thing that a lot of people are like, oh boy, that's why I don't want to go to middle school. But I mean, the attitudes are a little more challenging. It's a lot harder to get to know the kids. And I think that's just because they spend less time with you. I don't think it's because they're teenagers. 
I think it's because you don't see them as often because they're still they're still kind of like little kids, right? Like they still want to build that relationship with you. With you, they still want to bond with you, but they're having to juggle all these different teachers, and sometimes they just have to pick one or two to kind of connect with, and then the rest of them they're just trying to get through the day. So that's another thing that like it's hard. It's it's really hard to connect when they're hitting the teenage years. I think if they were in your class all day, you, you guys would probably drive each other bonkers. But it is harder to connect. So there you go. That's my transition from fifth grade to middle school. Um, I, I'm very neutral on it. I don't, I don't hate it. Like I, I thought I was really gonna not like it very much. But I, that's not true. I, I like it. Um, in, in some ways, I can't imagine going back to elementary school with everything you have to deal with. It seems like a little bit less responsibility in middle school just because, like, you know, you're not dealing with those kids all day long. Okay. Thank you for tuning in to my vlog, frenzies. I hope some of my information helped you. And oh boy, it's eight minutes past the bell. So, um, well, past my contracted hours. So I better, I better head out and go fix up some HelloFresh. I love all of you. So love.